Hey, this is Mrs. Hasmer, and today's lesson is on the skeletal system. So this would be a good, uh, like, a trivia you can do if you've been working on uh, the study of bones. Humans have 206 bones. Infants have around 300 bones. And number one, the, and you look for the word or words that you need from the word bank. The skeletal system has several functions. It supports the body, permits movement, protects internal organs, stores minerals, and produces blood cells. Number two, the human skeleton of an adult is made up of a total of 206 bones, which give the basic shape to the body and make up a framework to which muscles are attached. At birth, humans have over 300 bones, but some of them fuse together. Number three, besides bones, the skeleton also contains connective tissue called cartilage, which is flexible and tough. This type of rubbery tissue is present in the tip of the nose, the outer ear, and wherever two bones meet. Number four, the places in the skeleton where two or more bones meet are called joints, and these can be grouped into three basic types. Number five, one type of joint that allows no movement at all is called a fixed joint. Examples of this type of joint are found in the hip and in the skull. Number six, another type of joint that allows a small amount of movement is called a partially movable joint. The spinal column contains this type of joint. Number seven, a movable joint, like those found in the knees and shoulders, allows full movement of bones. Number eight, the bones in a joint are cushioned by cartilage, which keeps them from rubbing together. They are held together by strong bands of connective tissue called ligaments. Number nine, short bones are the chunky wide bones of the feet and wrists. Number 10, another type of movable joint is called a hinge joint. It allows movement in only one direction, like a door, knees, elbows, and the first and second bends and fingers are examples of these type of joints. Number 11, a ball and socket joint, a movable joint that allows movement in many directions, is formed where the rounded end of the one bone fits into the socket of another bone. The hips and the shoulders contain this type of joint. Number 12, the last type of movable joint is called a pivot joint because it allows rotating movement from side to side, like in the first and second neck vertebrae. In this type of joint, one bone twists within the cup and ring of another. Number 13, bones include about 30% living tissue, including bone cells, blood, blood vessels, nerves, and fat. The center of a bone has a space or cavity containing a soft tissue called a marrow in which new blood cells are produced. Number 14, bones are covered by a tough outer membrane. Underneath this membrane is a layer of bone cells surrounded by deposits of minerals, which make the bone hard and strong. Calcium is a mineral that comes from milk and milk products and is important in building strong bones. Number 15, before birth, the skeleton is made mostly of cartilage. During the early years of life, the bones begin to harden as they become coated with layers of minerals. This process is called calcification. Number 16, there are four basic shapes of bones. Some are long bones, like in our legs and arms. Number 17, some bones have a flat shape. These include plate-like bones, such as the ribs and shoulder blades. Number 18, there are several types of movable joints in the body. One type is called a gliding joint because it allows smooth sliding movements. Examples of this type of movable joint are the wrist and the ankle. Number 19, some bones, such as the vertebrae, have very odd shapes and do not fit into any other category. 
These are called irregular shape bones. And number 20, a break in a bone is called a fracture. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.